Ever been invited to one of those annoying parties full of trendies and posers showing off about something that sounds very intellectual, say art, especially art, and you simply didn't know what any of them were on about? I've got some influences of Duchamp, heavy deconstruction and some surrealist overtones. On and on they drone about stuff that makes them sound good and clever and so stuck up. Trouble is, any second now they're going to ask you what you think, and you so don't know what you think. And what do you think? Well, that's where we come in. It's always useful and impressive to have a list of favourite paintings to trip off the tongue. So which are the definitive works of art you need to know at least something about? The top paintings that everybody should see at least once in their lifetimes are paintings such as, well, you've got to see the sunflowers by Van Gogh. OK, seeing it now. There's lots of Van Gogh prints. And you think when you're eight, it's a real one. It's not. Van Gogh was, was mental. And it, whatever he would have done, he would have been a tortured cobbler. If he, you know, <laughs> he just happened to be an artist. The painting by Constable, the Haywain, has become ubiquitous on everything from uh, tea towels to tea trays, etc. I think Constable's overrated. I'm sure there were very good paintings, but you just go, oh. I've just been unfair to Constable now. I wish I hadn't now. I feel really rotten. <laughs> the fight in Tamaraire by Turner also hangs here in the National Gallery. Turner, wonderful, but a very odd and complex artist because he did terribly want to paint the human figure. And he couldn't do it. You couldn't really um, mention famous pictures without mentioning uh, the Mona Lisa. Oh, the enigmatic smile. She looks like she's chewing a toffee. And the picture that deserves recognition saw us bathers at Anya. And one of the most popular pictures we have here at the National Gallery is, of course, Arnolfini Marriage, the Arnolfini Marriage by Van Eyck. Now, this picture is so famous that it even manages to find itself uh, in the opening credits of Desperate Housewives. He doesn't get more famous than that, as far as I'm concerned. Um. Oh, golly, to ask me what my favourite painting is. If you look at Picasso's early works, they're brilliant. Turkey Tolson to Purula, straightening spears at Ilyangaungaung. Famous Lowry uh, painting of the match where well, it looks like people have been sucked into the football ground, and that's... I, I really do like that one. Cornelia Parker's Exploded Shed. Kandinsky's... very good. I want to feel Michelangelo's thighs on his... Not him, you know, on his... <laughs> on his sculptures. 